Consider the differential equation given here, where k is a constant. If we put k squared equal to g over l, this gives the equation of motion for the simple pendulum. The equation of motion for the compound pendulum also has this form. It's possible to integrate the equation once to obtain a result for d theta by dt, the angular velocity. In this form of the result, the constant theta subscript naught refers to a valuation of theta at the time t equals to zero. In fact, this result can also be arrived at directly by an energy argument in which we calculate the change in kinetic energy and the change in gravitational potential energy and use conservation of energy. At this point though, things get tricky. By noting that we can rewrite this part of the expression as sine squared theta zero over two minus sine squared of theta over two, and by making the substitution sine phi equal to the ratio of the half angle sines, it's possible to rewrite the problem in the form given here. The plus or minus sign depends on whether the velocity is positive or negative. Integrals of this type are known as elliptic integrals. Elliptic integrals cannot be computed in terms of elementary functions. However, it turns out that for small values of phi, we can approximate. This is the series expansion step. We rewrite the tricky left-hand side as a power series as described in the video about Taylor series. By neglecting the smaller terms, we can proceed with the integration. I've integrated over a quarter period. And the limits on the right-hand integral are for when theta is equal to theta naught and when theta is equal to zero. Evaluating the integrals on both sides gives the final result for the period, which is t equals two pi over k, multiplied by one plus a quarter of sine squared theta zero over two. Notice that if we assume theta zero is small, so that this term is approximately zero, then we obtain the familiar result t equals 2 pi over k, which is 2 pi root l over g for the simple pendulum. It's also possible to obtain further corrections to this result by continuing the series expansion to include smaller terms.